Hey there, scrappers. Do you have access to a large copier and you're trying to figure out whether or not you should take it, whether you should scrap it? Well, come on, let's dive in and take a look because that's what I do. I'm the Shark Scrapper and today we're going after a copier. Um, what you want to do when you get one of these is say no. No, I'm joking. What you want to do is uh, figure, figure out where the, pad, the, the side is that all the boards are behind. Usually you'll see a, a metal panel with a bunch of screws. Uh, and that's where you're going to access where the boards are and it's also pretty easy because it's probably going to be around the back or one of the sides because the front is usually taken up with the drawers for putting in paper and the actual copier mechanics uh, so first thing to do go around to the back and take off the panels and see if the boards are back there so let's go ahead and do that You can see we've got this kind of motor and these motors are all over the place. We've got some fans. We've got, this will be a peripheral low here probably. High, uh, power boards, uh, you're gonna have some nice copper toroids on them and some aluminum heat sinks. Peripheral low, peripheral low, more motors, peripheral low, peripheral high, and another peripheral high daughter card here. Big old gold corner BGA. So if you are into um, depopulating boards, there's some stuff here that you can depopulate as well. And then you've got one, two, three ram sticks here. And there's another peripheral hiding back in there. So now, the, now it's just a, an issue of pulling wires and getting the boards out. And then once all of these boards are removed, we're pretty much done here. There's really not much else. I mean, there's a few more motors and things, but the time that's gonna take you to dig into the rest of it uh, is just not worth it in my book. So once all of this stuff is removed, then it's into the shred pile. Doesn't help when we have screws that don't want to cooperate. And these screws have no reason to not cooperate. I know there's going to be another screw underneath here somewhere. There's a fan for a motor. Oh, it looks like we have a hard drive in here too. That's very cool. All right, so there's the first of the sweet cards coming out. There you are. So here's a real nice board. Oops. Well, there's a BGA there. <laughs> I'm not going to try to wrestle that off just yet, but there's a nice big metal cap BGA underneath of that. Another big gold corner. Here's the ram sticks. Let's get this battery off of here before we forget. CMOS battery. So very nice peripheral high grade board. Uh, low grade board. Wow. 
big old bin and I still missed it. That's a low grade board, it's just some connector ends on it. Oh, I see what you are. So that's an interesting board. You know, they build these commercial grade copiers to be repaired. So the technicians know how to get at all of these boards uh, for the troubleshooting. This company is a commercial uh, printer company. So this is, they, this is what they sell. Uh, commercial copiers, printers, net, big network type printers and things. All right, so we've got some sort of I think that's an SSD. There we go. Oh, we got two of them in here. Yeah, we got two of them in here. So, uh, no, these are not uh, SSDs, these are hard HDDs, hard drives. Uh, so, two nice little um, SATA type uh, small hard drives. They'll just go in with my functional hard drives. Or hard drives with boards on, because I believe that I'm really calling them. I don't believe there's resale market. I'll check, see if they're moving on eBay at all. I would be surprised because I'm thinking they might be somewhat special purpose, but we'll see. This is just sort of an air pathway for some motors and blowers. Here's a fan. For an electric motor. These electric motors are on a plate that is mounted on, let's see, what are you mounted to? Okay, hey, 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 so these rods, ah, I have found some of these rods that were stainless, but these are not. So we uh, will just get the uh, keeper clips off and get the motors off. Well, I pull some wires off of there because there's a lot of wires that have to get pulled out. This is a good opportunity for me to remind you that if you haven't already subscribed to the Shark Scrapper channel, it's real easy. There's a little button down in the lower right, and at the end of the video, there'll be a round icon uh, to help you subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss any of the Shark Scrapping episodes, and you can share it with all your friends. All right, so for my yard, that's a mid-grade, but there's a bunch of small ICs on there. Nothing on the back. So yeah, I think mid-grade. 
I also want to take a minute to give a big thank you to everybody who has been donating to the Shark Scrapper Shark Adoption Project 2 for 22 campaign. There's plenty of ways that you can do it. You can become a member of my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash shark scrapper. There's three levels. Each one gets some really cool stuff. You can donate through PayPal at paypal.me forward slash shark scrapper. Or you can send me a good old fashioned check. Uh, made out to Shark Scrapper LLC. Remember to always tell me if you want to remain anonymous because I do periodically update everybody on the donations and where we stand and who's given what. Motor. There's a power board behind the power board. So I don't know if I have to get this board off to be able to get this plate off. I'm looking. I can't tell if those screws are, I, they're definitely holding the board, but are they also holding the metal plate? I suspect not. Maybe this. Ah, that loosened it up. Let's see, is there one on this side? Aha. Uh -huh. There's a nice, we're going to call that a peripheral high because it's got a lot of chips on it. Got to get some wire cut. I tell you what, be careful when you're doing this. Don't yank too hard on things because there's some sharp edges here. You see these edges and then these screws back here? If you get your thumb in there wrong, that's going to hurt bad. All right, so this is a pretty classic power board, low-grade power board. We've got some nice big copper toroids here that can come off, so and some aluminum heat sinks. Hey, don't forget the transformers. They can be sold as electric motors. Come on, Shark, get your act together, dude. Yes. I guess there were still some more screws up there. But here we have another low grade power board. This one is really nice because each one of these is very easy copper spool to unspool. So these are real nice to throw in your bucket for unspooling during your downtime. So make sure you look behind all the little plates and even behind other boards. But when you get the back of the copier to look like this, 
then you're pretty much done with that copier. Uh, and I'll, I've got that one done. I've got this one done. The boards were all over on this side. So we uh, stuffed in the spaces with some empty shells. And we're going to head on over to the scrap yard and get rid of this stuff right away. So what do you do when you get a great big old copier or printer kind of thing? How much scrapping do you put on it? I'd love to see your comments down below. The links that are popping up are going to take you to more shark scrapping videos, and the round one in the middle is to help you subscribe if you haven't already done so. Have a great day, everyone.